why buying a house in America is an investment. Yes, you've heard me right. Buying a house in America is an investment. And I want you to consider that if you are living in the US or if you have money anywhere in the world, definitely you can buy one. I'm not a realtor, just so you know, I am a capacity builder. I am also an IT certification trainer. I work in the tech space and I'm also the founder of Zit Worldwide, a virtual coaching platform. So I do um, encourage you to use the link below this video, just in case you need guidance to transition into the tech space and make your six figure, or just in case you are doing some media jobs and you want to transition out of that. Yes, we can give you all that support. The links are quite below this video. You can use that to reach out to us. And if you're just joining our community for the very first time, please don't forget to smash on the red subscribe button below this video. And absolutely, we will be glad to have you here. So I live in the US and I hear a lot of people saying, oh, you don't own anything in America. It is not good for you to buy a house in America. And you go to Nigeria or you go to your home country and build a house. Absolutely. It might sound as if it's a narrative that is useful. Oh, you buy a house in America. It is this, it is that. They try to find excuses why they're not going to buy. They keep renting and they live in junk environment. And you count yourself that you live in America, right? Listen, guys, a lot of people are making the same old, same old mistakes. Encouraging you into an investment is part of capacity building. Asking you or pointing you to an investment programs or portfolios or financial growth, it's also capacity building. So as a coach, I will not tell you to do what I am not doing. Don't listen to those people that are telling you that, oh, nobody owns anything in America. Do you own the ones you have in Nigeria? A lot of you that built houses in Lagos, hasn't Lagos State demolished the houses? Didn't you buy those houses with money? Didn't you buy the land with money? Today, Lagos State, they are falling and demolishing the houses you invested so much in. The real estate market in Lagos is depreciating by the day, by the by virtue of what Lagos State is doing. But here you are in America, you are denying yourself the privilege, the honor of living a quality life. Don't you like where I am seated? This is my basement. I call it a man's cave. This is where I spent greater part of my time because this is where I teach. This is where I coach. This is where I carry out all my capacity planning or capacity execution, capacity enhancement, name it, inside this man's cave. Don't you love this environment? How many years do you have to live on earth? If you go to build a house in Nigeria, for example, I am building, I have one, but I haven't slept in that house for one day. I haven't. I don't plan to go and sleep there even anytime soon. My children are not going to sleep in that house anytime soon. This is the home they know. This is the house that I live. And this is where I am living to make money. So I will be living here in apartments. I will be living in some rugged neighborhoods just to save money to now build properties in where I am not going to live and also enjoy the value of that money. I need you to think about it for a minute. Why are you offering what you can offer yourself? Why don't you make where you are living to be making money a home first? Why don't you consider that property is an investment now from the time I bought this property till now, over $70,000 has accrued into this property. How wonderful. And it's going to continually increase. Except you made the wrong investment choices by buying a property in a less valuable neighborhood. 
even with that, it still will not depreciate. Except you're not maintaining the property. But as long as you're maintaining the property, I can tell you for a fact that you're not going to lose out here in America. Don't let anybody fool you that buying or in a property in America, you don't own anything. Absolutely, it is your property. If I choose to relocate back to Nigeria now, I just sell this property. If I am getting older, I can wield the property to my children. It is not a loss. As a matter of fact, I am having fun living in this property. It is fun for me where I am living. Please, don't let anybody fool you. And there is this narrative that, oh, when you relocate, you are suffering, you are this, you are that. I am not suffering. We are not suffering. You only suffer when you choose to suffer. I am talking to you about capacity building. You can increase your capacity, hence you can increase your earnings, your financial earnings, your income flow will also increase. When you choose the kind of life you want to live, even if you live in motherland, if you're not putting in the right work, the right choices of the things you do to be able to roll over some good substantial amount of cash flow, you're not going to live that soft life. The soft life is for everybody, but it all depends on the choices that you make. Buy that home where you find yourself live a quality life and extend your days on earth don't be fooled don't let anybody push you into that narrative you don't own anything in america of course we do own them see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded <laughs>